finally dived over to give victory to England. That most attractive town, Wellington, capital of New Zealand, had long been preparing to welcome the Queen and the Duke. And on the day of their arrival, Wellington certainly gave them a great ovation. One royal engagement was an investiture which was held at the town hall, where Her Majesty bestowed the accolade of knighthood on Sir Harold Barrowcuff, Chief Justice of New Zealand. For him, the KCMG. It was earlier on the same day that Her Majesty drove with His Royal Highness to open Parliament. This was a unique occasion in the country's history, and many thousands had waited near Parliament House to see their Queen, the Queen of New Zealand, arrive for the ceremony. Her Majesty was wearing her coronation gown and a glittering diamond tiara. The Duke wore the uniform of Admiral of the Fleet. After Her Majesty's invitation to the Assembly with the words, Pray be seated, she presently received her address from the hands of Mr. Holland, the Premier. Here are extracts from her speech from the throne. It is with a feeling of real satisfaction that I speak to you, the elected representatives of the people of New Zealand, as your Queen, and that I exercise my prerogative of opening the fourth session of this 30th Parliament. This is the first occasion on which it has been possible for your Sovereign to exercise this high function in person in New Zealand. I welcome the ease with which in these times it is possible to travel from one part of the Commonwealth to another. It will always be my endeavour to take advantage of the opportunities afforded by our age to enter with ever closer sympathy and understanding into the problems and aspirations of my government and people in New Zealand. I have been deeply moved by the fervent expressions of loyalty and enthusiasm conveyed to me by the Māori people, for whom I cherish the highest respect and affection. And I am proud to see how my subjects of both races in this country are moving forward in unity together, each determined to make their full contribution to the progress and advancement of New Zealand. I pray that the blessing of Almighty God will rest upon your councils. The impressive ceremony was over, and before she made her royal progress from the chamber, Her Majesty handed the copy of her address to Sir Matthew Oram, Speaker of the House. Certainly the people of Wellington, and indeed all New Zealand, will long remember this royal opening of their parliament. <laughs>